and we are live. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Fabulous. So, how are you? I am very good. I'm mean, very excited. I haven't slept much lately. <laughs> no? <laughs> no I've been creating everything. I'm just so excited. <laughs> so, today, today's episode is going to be fun because it's going to have an extra step of difficulty. Sam is going to work upside down on her project, <laughs> which is something I haven't seen so far. But let's see, let's see how that goes. All right. So just uh, one thing for the audience, in case they will see a, a drop in production, is that uh, today's vacation uh, here, and uh, I will have to direct this live and uh, act in it. So apologies if some things will not work as smooth as usual. Don't be too harsh. I will try. We'll do our best. I, I, I'm just winging it with the Pepsi Max. Oh, we can't do that. Ah, ah, that is <laughs> sponsored. No products. No products. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's open the week. So Sam, do you know what's happening during the course of this week? Um, Lots of fabulous crafting. I, I knew that. <laughs> That is true. Have, that is one true have, thing. You have to schedule, Giovanni. You, you <laughs> so the first day is going to be pretty easy because it's today and it's Sam. All right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Making this wonderful project that I see with the Sir Vagabond. The Vagabond. Very, very nice. Then on Tuesday, we have Omar and uh, uh, Monica Paruta. And Monica. I love Monica. Making a project with uh, Passion, the, the new collection by Dorota Kotovica. Sam, oh, did you get a chance to use the new collections? Did you did you see them yet in the market? Oh, I've seen them. I'm dying to get them, but they're all they're all there <laughs> on pre-order. So I have to get them. <laughs> I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> coming soon, coming soon. Then we have uh, uh, Rado making a project, I guess with uh, clockwise, but I'm not sure. It's going to be all with chemical products. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Then it's uh, uh, Sarah Cobendas and John Paper. I am really excited about it. Have you seen his, pro his projects? No, no, I don't think I have. I, I didn't know this guy before. And he's part of uh, Sarah Cobendas' crew. Wow. He I, I is crazy talented. It's, it's a, he makes amazing projects. Check it out. It's, it's going to be good. Then on Friday, we have uh, Silvia Gabito. Oh, making, oh amazing. interesting. It's a, a cabana. It's a 3D <laughs> construction with uh, oh. Amazonia. Oh, That's I cool. love 3D construction. I do lots of that. Let's check out. And That's on awesome. Saturday, we're going to have our first live in German. Now, wow. Belinda is learning German. And Mirka is actually from Berlin. So <laughs> it's going to be our first live completely in this language. It's, it's great. Do we have any German speakers in the comments? Guys, let us know. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I can't even see the comments yet. Why am I? Co yeah. I can't get the comments. Why can't oh, right. hello, hello, Blanche. Oh, nice. <laughs> Everyone say hi now. See, I, I have to remember to put these up every once in a while. OK. Oh, so, you've got to do those. Hello, Shamila. That's really lovely. Oh, yes. I'm just, I've got to put my, I'm going to like and share. We have to like and share, Giovanni. Yes. Like look, and share we have this little fancy thing. Look, look at this. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I can put a heart ray. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and like infomercials. Oh, where is it? If, okay. Should... See? <laughs> have any questions? Remember to like and share. Only oh, for today. Do I, do I have any questions? Um, yeah. Do you, do you want to see the, the, my recent thing? Hang on. Absolutely, you sure. Want to, you want to see my airship? Wow. Really nice. <laughs> really, so really nice. And we have the same thing in uh, one of the papers. Yeah. In is, is this one of the Lady Vagabond papers, we have a similar structure. It's really cool. Of course. And I made this because uh, I, wow. lo I love the Vagabond collections. And they, they very, be. very nice. So all let the molds, wait, me... all the molds from the Vagabond mm. collections. Yes. See? Beautiful. The molds are beautiful. And the Allegro paints and everything. Oh, I love them. And the, and the yeah. antiquing paste. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> very cool. This is, now this you is have part to make... of a big project. Now you have to make also the, um, uh, the building with wings. 
in the same collection, there is also another vehicle with the building flying. Yeah, this is kind of merger of two because the okay. so Vagabond's one is a train with a balloon. Okay. And Lady Vagabond has has the the building with the wings. Yeah. Nice. So that's so okay. cool. I've seen if I can find my um uh thing and like and share, like and share. Like oh, and share. I'm looking for my things. Look, I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, let me check out. Sam has all the collections. Yes. Hi, yes, Anthony. she does. That's, that's <laughs> my bestest friend, Anthony. He knows I have all the <laughs> all of the collections. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. All right. So, uh, let's go to the second part of the video. Where we do the pizza pizza game. Pizza game. Oh, do you know I've been dying to win one of these for ages, Giovanni. Is my picture on there yet? <laughs> you. No. Mm, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Cora, Cora won it last week. Cora Flute, Flute. She won last week. Yes. She won last week. Oh, I'm, I'm dying to win. Did she like it? <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, All right. Been, um, yeah. Let's see what we'll uh, get all in this one. Okay. How what you got to put in, in there, Giovanni? Come on, show me. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. So, first thing, the love story <gasps> collection by Joanna Ribeiro. Oh, beautiful. Do you ever work with the with the Joanna collection, sir, or are you more of a vintage person? I love the I love vintage and I love steampunk, but I do love shabby chic as well. So yeah, that's beautiful. This oh, collection. look at that! That's so cute. Um, <laughs> all right, <laughs> then biggest classic of all, Ellis collection. Ready? Oh, I love okay. Alice. <laughs> you know, <laughs> these has been always the best seller ever since it's come out. It's yep. never been second to anyone. I have that one. <laughs> 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 then we have House of Roses. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I love the planks on the back of the, the wood. And Oriental Guardian. Oh, look at that. Hmm. So pretty. I really like these patchwork designs where they have oh, all these friends. I, I love that. Yeah, patchwork. I did patchwork on my balloon, but it's not as pretty as that. <laughs> <laughs> then one album. Uh, I don't really know how to show it. How do I show uh, like is, these again? Is that an out? Is that got the uh, stone paper on it, or is it just? Uh, no, just regular, regular just cardboard. Regular. And then you can put in it. You, there is the elastics, and you can make your uh, your own oh, designs. Like, like a journal paper. Then rice paper. Alice, oh perfect. <laughs> All right. I think Mold. this one needs to come to me, Giovanni. Oh, and that mold is beautiful. <laughs> molds? <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> More molds. This one will be done. It's an ice. <laughs> I can see. Oh, wow. This one is a bit more mixed than usual. Um, winter Tales. Oh, that's a beautiful scene. Look at that. That would be beautiful on a canvas. Oh, mm -hmm. that with those moldings around it. That would be fabulous. Another Winter Tales. Oh, I love to go that. with the first one. I love the castle and the middle. Oh, um, I don't know if you can really see this one, but this is a notebook with stone paper uh, in silver outside. Ah, uh, I have to steal the stone paper. That's lovely. Hmm. I don't have the notebook though. No? Ah, then oh, yeah, no, you no, should no, have the one of these. <laughs> this is your pizza then. It should be. This is, surely it's my pizza box. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that texture plate. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. That's beautiful. Look at that. All right. So, uh, <gasps> steps. Oh, beautiful. That poinsettia. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's lovely. Now, I'm drooling now, Giovanni. I need these. <laughs> stone paper. Let, more stone paper. Let me bring up some of the comments. Okay. Oh, so, so canvas with lights underneath. Oh, look, she's got all the ideas. Like, oh, she, mm. yeah. Love it. And then. The glamour paste. This one is uh, <gasps> ancient pink. Ancient pink. I have uh, 
I have the black one and um, what's the other one? Gold one. Oh, I love it. My favorite one is the turquoise one. Turquoise. Oh, I need that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Then Chair Antica. This is a very old product by us. We had it for a very long time. Chair Antica. It's antiquing wax. I love Antica. those. They're amazing. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> then transfer gel. Have you ever played with transfer gel? No, is that for transferring photos? Yes. You okay, can take I any. I understand how it works, but I haven't used that one yet. It's really cool. Uh, you you take any uh, photocopy that you have. Yeah, laser, and laser you apply it, and it uh, turns. It goes through. It's really nice. Soft clay, classic to go with the mold. Uh, yeah, I use the clay. I use the clay. It's lovely. And then Allegro blue. Yep, yeah. love it. And this is going to someone, which we'll find out soon. Uh, okay. Can't tell them that. Can't tell them yet. <laughs> it's a secret. Love it. Excited. All right. So here we are, and oh, I, I almost forgot. I have to announce who got the most likes on Stamper Wars Worldwide last week, and it was my... mm -hmm. here. Oh wow! Tina wow. Gomez, and it's this beautiful violin music-inspired uh, product project. Oh, that's beautiful. Like I really like it. And I see, oh, maybe they picked. This is one of the studios that is getting the most likes. So soon we are going to announce who won the best studio in uh, <laughs> on Cyprus Worldwide. It's just it's it's not me. forever. <laughs> it, How is the me. studio? Giovanni, is it? <laughs> it's a I, wanna... studio. I did post my studio. But it, it will won't, it will not win. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Sadly, it, nice is, it, it is very messy. How's yours? <laughs> um, really not much. This mm. is. Mm. Uh... <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay. Mine's not very inspiring. It's just very messy. Oh, I I I feel inspired by messy. N nobody's inspired by clean and organized. I'm right. right. I don't I don't think that's a good good look for a crafter anyway not at oh, all sorry. means they have something to hide maybe <laughs> no i'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> i've got no boxes left to hide things in they all got craft stuff in <laughs> oh that's my friend samantha she said she's bit she needs alice oh yeah so she's, everybody she's needs some alice so we need, all need alice i need alice i did an alice up there so shall we try this, shall we do the, the project? I think we should. Do you mind two seconds? Sure, absolutely. Shh. You never saw that. Ah. <laughs> so this, this is yes. Okay, so this is the uh, this is a Sir Vagabond collection. And which products did you use? Can you give us a brief recap before we okay. get into it? Absolutely. These are uh, this is the many faces of Sir Vagabond. Okay. And we, is it absolutely unique? Not quite sure. There's lots of him. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we have nearly all these ones are from um, the Savagabon collection mm -hmm. done by Antonis. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have on here, we have a plain canvas. I've used the um, mixed media stencil from Antonis. Okay. And some of the eight by eight papers in the background. Beautiful. You can't really see the papers because they're kind of... <laughs> they're all covered. But... We have cream paste. Okay. Because that, that's what this, uh, all the all of this is here. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of the um, embellishments are made with the the uh, clay and okay. um, the moulds, which I shall show you in a moment because I've got to get them out of the moulds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're already... They're, and they're also vagabond. So they, this is basically also vagabond collection. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're using the antique paste. I love the antique paste. Yes. It, it's such a fun product. <laughs> Very messy. Paste. Not that one, not that one. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, I'll show you. oh sorry, the tube. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This one. That is Anthony's invention. Anthony's 
yeah, I, I do love all his creations <laughs> and uh, and Belinda's collections too. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit in love with the vagabond stuff. So there you go. It's awesome. It's awesome. Beautiful. I and... have, I'm having to do a little bit of a uh, rework. This is the, uh, oh, Belinda, look. <laughs> Bless her. Belinda's been so supportive and so sweet. She's been, you know, talking to me and stuff and helping out. She's, um, I couldn't find any more of these. I've run out of the clear acetate um, okay. die cuts. These are the die cuts. Oh. This is. Do you know the die cut packs? Yeah, of course, of course. So I have lots. Okay. I keep them in a tin. Oh, I lost like lots, lots. Okay. Not, not like three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have lots. Sadly, I have no more of that one. Okay. So, Belinda had a great idea. She said, well, if you've got the stamps, which of course I do, <laughs> um, I'm going to use the stamp and acetate and we're going to do our own one. Whoa. So there we go. Show Interesting. You. Yeah. So we'll do that now. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So. I shall put this. Uh... Yep. Oh, anyway, the, the camera is going down, so we will not see anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know. okay, yeah. you can also put it on your head. <laughs> okay. It's Monday. Monday, Giovanni. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit silly. Yay! <laughs> All I have is a <laughs> Santa Claus oh, one. We cannot throw. Christmas. Okay. I love it. <laughs> Okay, right. So I'm going to turn the camera down. Okay, start, let me just. Uh, we shall start making a mess. Well, you do it. Uh, everybody, did you notice there is something weird? We're not sure. We're trying to understand what is it. It is, but I have like Allegro's on me, and I don't know why this effect. Anyway, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's good, get into it. Let's see if we've got a, a better. Yeah. Let me try the angles better. There we go. There we go. We have my hands. <laughs> so we have lots of things in my view. Excuse my mm -hmm. messy desk. It's always messy, I'm afraid. Perfect. So let's have a look now. I'm going to try and work upside down. The stamping I may have to do up the right way. Forgive me. But uh, just so I can get this done. I'm going to stick him there for a moment. I just need to do this quickly. It's like green okay. screen. Yeah, Belinda's figured it out. It's like green screen. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It, it is. is something related to Stamperia. Yeah. It would be embarrassing if it was something completely unrelated. Like if it's a picture <laughs> of Allegro's. <laughs> okay. I love green screen. Oh, <laughs> and I think we might be having an issue with my stays on. I think I might need some, um, what do you call them? Um, uh, hang on a moment, two seconds. I think I might need some re ink. Okay, anyway, it's not a very product, so it's fine out beforehand. But I probably not going to be able to do that now. I can't find it. Never mind. Right. We will, we will, we will wing it and hopefully right. this will work. If it doesn't work, we shall try a different sort of vagabond. Mm. It's okay, we have a contingency plan. You're yeah, a hologram. You're Someone says you're a hologram, Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be a hologram. <laughs> right? <laughs> it was a big, big aspiration. All right. Right. Now we're, so. doing, we're doing the. My, my, oh, two seconds. Mm -hmm. I can find a better ink pad. For some reason, this one seems to have dried out and it's not very happy. Happy ink pad, we're not happy. Sorry about that. Hang on Absolutely later. not. Oh, hell. Do you have Everybody saying problems? hello. We have people from Netherlands. Uh, we have others from UK, South Africa. I would like to find. You want to find some what? people from um, uh, from Germany? No one from Germany. Well, oh, I am. I uh, hope in the comments someone from Germany would come out. Anyone okay. from Germany? She's. That's Come on. Gloria Dinsdale, Dinsdale is uh, asking, what are you inking? What am I inking? Okay. This is the Sir Vagabond um, stamp. Mm -hmm. So this is from Antonis collection. Where did I put the packet? Okay. This is from this, this collection. Okay. 
Okay. Um, uh, I can give you the code if you need it. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, it's WTA T17. TKA017. Okay. WTKA T17. There you go. Okay. There's oh, no. loads, loads okay. on there. It's fabulous. This is a huge stamp, and I love this stamp. Mm -hmm. but sadly, I did not realize that my stays on ink pad was a bit dry, so we might have to try my uh, archival and mm -hmm. hope that works instead. You know, these, uh, these uh, um, stamps have been designed by Anthony, sir, and it was the first time we made them that way, because usually our stamps are yeah. flat and they cannot be molded the same way, while these are much more flexible. Yeah, they're great for mixed media. You can hold them up and squish them, and it's great for pressing down into... Oh, hello. That was the project just to, wanted to jump off the shelf there. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's fine. <laughs> Everything must okay. fall down today. Stay there, you simple. Absolutely no problem. My lives are always like this, Giovanni. Everything <laughs> just falls down on me. It's nothing new. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can do this because it doesn't have a sticky on the back. You'll know. You'll notice with these mm -hmm. stamps. So you can't. You can't stick them to something. To um. So I'm going to try this. This way instead. Mm -hmm. So take the um, ink pad, sorry, the, the paper or the, in this case, the acetate to the, okay. um, to the stamp. That way it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. If you were doing it for mixed media purposes and gravity sucks. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I was reading the same. <laughs> In my room, it's, it's my enemy, I'm afraid. <laughs> gravity. Not the people's enemy, you should ask my scale. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. I am pressing down. I don't. I don't always press this hard, but I want to make sure we get it all. Okay. There we go. And that's a good thing about acetate. Obviously, you can see through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> right. Let's see. Okay, we've got a perfect impression here. I'm going to show you with a. There he is. Very, very nice. Perfect. Wow. I know. I love that. That's amazing. Cool. Right. I'm going to give that a couple of seconds, and then I'm going to cut that out. Anyway, before we get to that part, we're going to go back to the canvas. Two seconds. Let's put that there and mm -hmm. get rid of my ink pad. There we go. Right. And we have our moulds. Now, I haven't demoulded them on purpose. I left them okay. in there overnight. Hello from Scotland. Hello, Anne-Marie. I'm saying hi to everyone while we're there. Now, these are, look at this. This is one of uh, Anthony's uh, soft mould, uh, sorry, silicone moulds. This is called okay. uh, Wings and uh, Clocks and Wings or something like that, I think. Well, <laughs> that's very fine. Wing something. And this this, this is, the, is a logo, Thalai's logo. This is the this is the clay in the in mm -hmm. the mold. So I've left it overnight actually, just so you can see it. Nice. There you go. And it's very soft yeah. and flexible. And here's the other piece. So they're all ready to demold and take out ready to use. So I'm just going to grab the pieces I need. And these are the okay. soft molds. So these are all Savag Bond ones. I love them all. They're amazing. They're just gorgeous. And this one actually does not want to come out, I don't think. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hang on a moment. No problem. We shall demold this a bit easier. Why well, you can't see me? Oh, oh dear. Did you break? Mm, well, the difficulty with clay mm. is it needs a bit of air to dry, and I should have taken those ones out overnight. I might have to rethink that one. Two seconds. Let's see if we can get these ones out. These ones, fine. As you can see, that that one out. Okay. A bit of black on there doesn't matter. I'm, I'm painting it anyway. What is the black uh, point? Which is the what? Sorry. How does the little black happen? Oh, it's because I had I had some different um, resin in there before, and I hadn't. Ah, oh, it's a resin joker. 
This is all uh, independent on me cleaning my products properly, Giovanni. Oh, okay. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a crafter. I'm too busy for that. You love the clock. You, I, it's gorgeous, isn't it, Shamella? It's beautiful. I love all of these. Look at them. They're just oh, so beautiful. Oh, so vagabond. I didn't get him out properly, but he's okay. We're going to make him work. Okay. I'm demolding live on air, which is not something I normally do. <laughs> I, oh, sounds like I'm undressing. <laughs> demolding. <laughs> I'm demolding. Don't, don't. <laughs> normally, with the clay, what I would do is mold it and then okay. get it out and let it dry in the air. It, it takes it takes 24 hours roughly for it to harden, but you, you can get away with it. Okay. I was, I was doing these last night, so. Maybe next time we, we we make one round and we leave it in, and another one, and we pretend we took it out. Like here, there it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretend to get it out. Say, so, yeah, this is one I did yesterday. This is this is one I made earlier, like Blue Peter. <laughs> They're asking, what kind of clay do you use? Uh, the um, the extra light clay uh, stamperia. I don't have any with me right now. I've got oh, the soft clay. Yeah, soft clay. That's the one. Sure. Right, let me get those out. Give me a moment. I might have to. Anthony doubts you are you have been cleaning. Sorry. Anthony doubts you've been cleaning. And you, me cleaning never. Yeah, he doesn't. He knows me very well. He's my best friend. <laughs> yeah, I don't clean. What's that about? Interesting, Belinda. Put them really in the fridge. Get them out easier. Hang on a moment. I'm just gonna grab another cog there, just because some of these are not come out as well as I'd hope. So I'm going to clean it. Forgive me. I'm knocking everything down as I go. Mm. Uh, also, Ilse is saying you should, you should put it in the freezer when the clay is still wet. If you do it when it's yeah, dry, I, I don't, yeah. okay. normally, I would, like I said, I would get the clay out while it's still wet. Uh, while it, once I've molded it straight away, I'll get it out and leave it to dry. Okay. But for these, I thought I would leave them in the mold. And say, yeah, that was my mistake. I really shouldn't have done that. But that was just me last night. I thought, oh, no, it's okay. They'll be fine. They'll just dry overnight. That's okay. Huh. Did you have a freezer helped out on, helped on that? Okay. That helps. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting my other bits out. Two seconds. What do I need? My white. I want that. And I want that. That's it. Got it. There we go. I have these ones. There we are. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to. You just see me moving stuff around. I'm going to prime these now because because they've all come out. We have that one, that one, that one. Okay, keeping these up the right way. Shall okay. That one. Um, that one. That one. That one. That one. We have all of those. I think that's all the clay bits I need. Right. Now we have the primer. Oh, I love this primer. This is the uh, gorgeous Stamperia primer. Mm hmm. Very good. Gives you a really cool base to work on, so it makes everything uh, ready, um, um, so that anything porous is covered and ready okay. to take the paints or the um, whatever you're going to put on top of it. So you want to give it a quick coat of that. So it dries very, very quickly, so you don't have to worry about drying time with this stuff. But it can be very tacky. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, going over my black piece i don't there's no messing around no <laughs> no <laughs> finesse with this i'm afraid giovanni it's just slap it on and <laughs> it's the best kind of project yes the best, yeah, look. <laughs> this, there's uh yeah no no techniques here no hidden techniques i'm afraid it's just slap it on and see what happens <laughs> there we go we're just going to get it all covered that's it it's interesting because we really have two kinds of crowds we have uh, the mixed media people and the scrapbooking people. And the scrapbooking people are very like cutting and precise and very by the book. <laughs> the ones are just like going and yeah. It, it, yeah, it's quite hard for some people who like it nice and neat and tidy and they're like, no, what are you doing? That's so wrong. <laughs> 
and, and I'm like, no, 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 we just got to get a mess, make a mess and see what happens. And, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. A bit of clay on that, a bit of primer on there. It'll be good. You won't see it. Um, okay. A bit more on that one. As you can see, it's quite quick and easy. We're going to get around this. So much amazing detail in the molds. The molds are amazing. I've got to say, I'm so impressed with these molds. Look at look at the details in these molds. Very nice. They are amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. And I, I like using them with resin um, and even plaster, Paris, mm -hmm. and, and the clay, obviously. Anything you can mold, you pretty much stick in right. these these clay, these molds. Sometimes they they ask us if they can put it in the if they can um, make cookies and chocolate with it. Ah, and you can, you can. <laughs> legally not. So I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> you want to try. I, don't, well, I don't. I don't know if you can. My, uh, I, I, we don't have the certification for it. Set separately, you could. I think you could use chocolate in them. But other than that, that you could you couldn't um, you couldn't put them in the in the <laughs> in the oven. <laughs> don't put them in the oven. And when and when I tell them that we don't have the certification for it, they they get so sad. But I don't know what to tell them. I know. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right, we're gonna. We are all ready with those, I think. So okay. Let me just clean up my fingers two seconds because obviously sure. they are disgusting. Add wax to the cast to make real detail pop. Yes, Anthony's full of ideas, bless him. He's been working with clay and moulds for a long time like me. Let me just move these to the side so I can just clean my mat because clearly that's terrible. Oh, I should do what, um, oh, who was it the other day? Tamar, was it Tamar? She was doing, she had some paper under her mat so it made it easier to clean. <laughs> It must help, yes. <laughs> yeah, I always, I'm like, okay, yeah, I do this. <laughs> or I get my scraper and I do this. Oh, scraper works really well. It's a wallpaper. Oh, mm -hmm. paint scraper. <laughs> You're fine, Arnie, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Clean that off a little bit more. There we go. Not too, not too bad. Sad, sad for my hands. I mean, like, don't tell everyone. No for kind of Okay. What kind of wax? Kim asked, what kind of wax, Anthony? Um, when we talk about wax, I mean, like, gilding waxes or the Karantika waxes, those those are beautiful on any of the um, finishes for your pieces. They look absolutely amazing. So mm -hmm. that's the sort of wax we're talking about here. Let's grab that. Dry that off. Right, there we go. Okay. Well, now we need to get this done. Any wax from Stamperia. See, look, Anthony's is with me. Any wax from Stamperia. <laughs> now we've got one of these pieces of paper. This is from the um, Stamperia. This is from the Vagabond. So Vagabond 8x8 paper pad. Okay. Now, I really have trouble deciding which side to use most of the time. <laughs> because <laughs> I love them both and I like to stroke them so I have to buy two of each I'm afraid let me just move you up a bit there we go two seconds just moving my clay oh sorry there we are Perfect. so what I do is I buy two pads <laughs> so it solves that problem yeah, okay. I'm not complaining about that okay okay so we're going to use this side because I, I just I, I just like that that piece yes. I'm going to offset Great. it a bit let me just grab my other piece there, put it there. Let's see what I'm doing. There we go. Mom just gets around the right way. Da, 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 da. It does have writing on it, but uh you probably won't see that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna we're gonna go on it with it like this. Okay. There we go. So I'm kind of distressing this up a little bit. I don't want it to look too pristine. Hey Jean! Jean's from Scotland. Do you remember Jean? Oh, she's lovely. Yes. I'm saying hi to all colours and the should papers we... are so beautiful. I was thinking, should we invite uh, Anthony and uh, Samantha? I see they're commenting a lot. Sure. Yeah, you see <laughs> if you can get them on there. <laughs> they're, my, they're best buddies. Let me see. Okay, while you while you continue, let me see if I can invite them as well. <laughs> okay. okay, you do that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that will be fun. Right, let me carry on. Right, I'm going to grab my stencil. So, now I love, I love this stencil. I want to stick my paper down before I actually start stenciling. So we're okay. going to grab my um, craft glue. Put that. Love this craft glue. This is amazing. Look at this. There we go. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. And this is great for paper. Putting on your paper. Oh, look. Hang on a moment. <laughs> I really should take these bits off because it doesn't help. All right, let's do that. Take that off. I'm going to grab a paper there, brush. They're saying buy three one for one side, one for the other, and one to keep and soak. <laughs> well, absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. Three. One, <laughs> one, one side, one. Three. I'm with Shireen, actually. I still have that trouble. I can't, yeah. <laughs> I can't decide. Now, I like to put some rips and tears and stuff in my papers and things. So I'm just going to do a little bit of ripping and tearing. And you'll see this in some of it. I'm doing it up this way so you guys can see it. But obviously, okay. it's, up the wrong, it's up the wrong way for me. But um, that's fine. I don't mind. I just want to make sure I've got this in the right place. So that's going to go there, roughly. You, what we do is we, when I'm doing a layout, Mm -hmm. I will use all my pieces and I will start laying them out before I actually um, start any sticking down or composition. Okay. So make sure we've got everything in the right place. <laughs> right, hang on a moment. I need these pieces. That's extras. Uh, Anthony, if you're checking your uh, unwanted messages from random people on Facebook, uh, there is my uh, link. <laughs> random people on Facebook. <laughs> Get him okay. on there. He needs to do some work. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. I'll pull that on there. I'll just do some little rips. Okay. Nice. There we go. Just some little tears and rips and random bits. There we go. I like that. I think that's round about where I want it all. Mm -hmm. um, roughly, yeah. Let's get me paper, stick it down. Okay. Oh, he's in. He's in. Hi. Hello. Hey, Anne. Perfect. And you don't even have technical issues. Great. Oh, I don't have technical issues. I'm, I'm, um, whenever Sam has problems with technical issues, she asks me. Yeah, it's my tech guru. <laughs> so, what do you think about the project? Sorry? What do you think about the project? The project is amazing. Like all of her um, creations she does. I've, I've known Sam for, I think, about six years now. Don't listen to him. He's biased. <laughs> um, can you turn on the live on your computer? Yeah. Because otherwise we have a repetition. There we go. It's gone. <laughs> okay. We're <Are we> good. <laughs> Perfect. So... So I've, I've known Sam for about six years and um, she has uh, created the most amazing projects time after time after time. Um, I've been in crafting for, ooh, I think about 12 or 13 years. Uh, nice. and, and I love it. it. Crafting is one of those things where you just go into your own zone. It's brilliant. He's an old man in the craft business. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true, the auntie tant, isn't it? You, 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 you've caught me. I haven't shaved today. <laughs> well, me neither. But, uh, <laughs> well, mine is worse than you. I had, <laughs> when, when you suggested I come on, I quickly dashed upstairs to comb my hair. <laughs> caught you out. I noticed you stopped commenting, so <laughs> that must be. Uh, uh, Patty, I've uh, just seen a comment there for Patty. Thank you very, very much. Um, yes, yeah, she's. She's obviously seen some of my projects as well. Um, so, you know, I, I love, as, as Sam does, to um, just give inspiration, craft inspiration to everybody. Everyone needs that little spark just to get going and yeah. then the way they can just, you know, be as creative as they like. Absolutely. Yeah, we've been working together for a long time. We haven't. We've, we've done workshops in the past. So, um, yeah, we, we know each other extremely well. That's cool. So, what is going on here, Sam? What's that? 
What is going on here? What are, what are you offering? Right, what are we doing now? Okay, that's right. Now I've stuck the piece of paper down, just randomly. It's got some nice little random tears in it. It doesn't look very vintaged up yet, but we're getting mm -hmm. there. That will come later when we do the, tech, uh, the vintage paste. Okay, now we've got this stencil. Um, I can't... I can give you the... Oh, uh, it's I fine. I think it's the, the you don't need the codes, do you? I think yeah, we're, yeah, we're fine. We're good, okay. Okay, so now we're going to use the cream paste. Uh, this is amazing stuff. I love this. <laughs> I need that. Bit? You you can need, no you can't have any. Uh, <laughs> I've got open that will help. I've got a, I've got a few pots of this to be fair. You'll never forget the dragons oh. video. Oh see. Oh and bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Jean. Thank you very much. Thank you. I do love your videos. He's amazing. I, he does I, lots of videos. I, I, yeah. I love video work. Um, I've 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 demonstrated on a shopping channel in the UK here. And um, I, I like to like all the samples that um, I, I sh I've shown. I, I do like a little showcase so everyone can see them really close up. I'm yeah. at Sam's uh, project that she's created there, and I'm just seeing things happening already. So I'm not I'm only just, creative just, with paper; it's also digital as well. So I, I, I am going to have to just to turn this this way for a moment while I do the stenciling. Just give me a moment because I need to see it up this way. <laughs> no problem. This is the, uh, the it's the same principle up either way, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm not going to stencil over the whole thing, okay? But I do want to just get some of the pieces. Very, very easy to do this. I love it. Going to do some off the, the canvas and some on. Oops. There's one amazing, amazing stencil. I think I need that one as well. Yeah, you, you probably, like me, need them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need them all too. The, the Vagabond have... collection is just amazing. I, I have two of the silicone moulds. As, as Sam said, you know, I've I've been um, in work with moulds. I have um, full set syndrome, don't I? Full you do have full set syndrome, yeah. I have to have all the full set. <laughs> it's it's um, Giovanni, it's can, can we actually mention the name of the um, channel in the UK? Someone's asking. Uh, I guess I know which one it is. I, I, uh, so yeah, absolutely. Okay, it's it's Hochanda um, here in here in the UK. Um, I've I've been demonstrating on there for about three years. Previous to that, I was demonstrating on another channel for about ten years. Uh, mm. Sam has also demonstrated on Hochanda as well. So um, it's a really great place, and they and they sell Stamperia. They they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's why that's right. when, when you said, oh, can I say uh, the UK channel, I already, I, I figured which one. I, 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 I thought I'd ask first. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get in trouble then. <laughs> I'm always getting myself into trouble. All right. Um, well, we, we do have um, someone else, else is asking a question to see some of um, the work um, that, that we do there. You know, there, we, do, we do have a blog. Um, no, it's not up to date because I don't put anything on there at the moment. Well, but, well, <laughs> but I, I do believe that Sam's son is introducing her to Instagram. So yeah, check that one out. Check that one out. <laughs> yes, we'll, I am. I am we'll be on there soon. Instagram would be useful. You know, they're asking us to, to go on TikTok, uh, but I don't know how many of our all our fans are, are on TikTok. So I don't What's TikTok? <laughs> you know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, 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 the great thing about demonstrating, though, I always find is that when you when you see a project um, which is just still like a photograph, it never ever shows it to its best. You need moving pictures. So this, to me, is the best way to actually see yeah. something. I do love it. Two seconds. I've just got to right. So what I've done is literally gone over this with some of these. The, there you go. In different places with the uh, cream paste. I'm just going to quickly wipe off my stencil before it dries, because otherwise that stencil's uh, going to be really messed up. You have to clean stencils pretty much straight away. You must buy this stencil. It's gorgeous, my lovely. You need it. It's so detailed and it comes out beautifully with all of these products, the um, the cream pastes and the, uh, the even the crackle paste and things like that go through it beautifully and the modeling pastes all of them it's 
So I'm just going to give it a quick clean up. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. clean it properly, I promise, later. But I just want to make sure it's not in any of the gaps so that um, I don't ruin my stencil. I would normally have some water by me if I was on air, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can, you can get some if you want. We can wait. See, and Agnes, does, she, has, she doesn't have Instagram either. See, I'm not the only one. You're, you're not girl, the only I one. Know, I know, I don't have it either. It's ridiculous. I'm terrible. I think I'm just ancient. My kids uh, laugh at me. They absolutely think not. I don't have it. You're not getting much, don't worry. It, it makes a change. Sam always calls me the dinosaur, so it, it's quite nice to hear her say that she's ancient. Ha, be quiet. You're so naughty. All right, that is going to dry. I need to dry this quickly. Now, while this is drying, I also need to uh, cut out the Sir Vagabond from the 8x8 collection as well. He's going to go be my main feature in the mm -hmm. middle, in the centre. So I'm nice. going to cut him out. So we'll give this a quick blast and hopefully leave it to dry for a moment on its own. Here we go. Perfect. I like how quiet uh, your hair dryer is. Uh, thank you. Oh, it's a heat. <laughs> it's a really quiet one. It's almost soothing. Like, usually yeah. there's an explosion of... We're just doing okay. a little... Oh, like this. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> There's, there's lots of people by the looks of it who are having problems with instagram and i've got to admit hands up i don't even know how to upload something from my computer on there it's crazy i put videos up but pictures <laughs> main oh, reason must be that you can't you can only upload from from a phone. Phone. Oh, well. mm. i need to just put yeah. up there to, just, just to do that oh. to um well, oh. Audrey, oh, thank you very much. Lovely comments there uh, from both myself and um, Sam. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, you keep up with all the comments there, please. Uh, I'll tell him off if he's been not. <laughs> I'm, I'm being very good today. I've been warned, Giovanni. Yeah, because he's he's really naughty me. sometimes. He says naughty comments just to wind <laughs> me up. Uh, they're they're inspirational, but naughty. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. The best ones. I just no, absolutely, to... absolutely. I'm just going to put my glasses on because I need to see what I'm doing. That's always helpful. Mm -hmm. Right, let's cut this one out, people. It's coming. It's good. So Vagabond is being cut from the paper. The poor man. You have to excuse the state of my hands. Clearly, I've got paint and everything all over them now. But that's a crafter's hand. I end up going out, picking my daughter up, covered in paint and everything. I think they're used to it now. Yeah. Often I've been to the supermarket with all glitter over me. I get the strangest looks, but hey, that's what crafters do. This is true. <laughs> Giovanni, do you often go out with glitter on? <laughs> yes, and I'm not a crafter, so there is a lot going on there. <laughs> What's your excuse? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. This is awesome. So you just watching me cut this out is so fun. Like, yeah, they're saying cry? that uh, the first cut is what always makes them cry. I know it does. I, I, I try not to think about it. This is all for the greater good. It's all, <laughs> <laughs> it's all for everyone else's benefit. And I'm sitting thinking, this is my poor little paper. It's like, oh, I've got to just stroke it. I keep all the scraps. Oh, I'm terrible. I, you use them, I use them all. <laughs> I just wonder, how do you decide which um, scissor to use when you're cutting? It depends what because... you're most comfortable with. Um, okay. Yeah, if it's a really tiny, intricate piece, little like little flowers, you might want to use tiny scissors to get into the little gaps. But a big piece, I might want to use big scissors just to uh, so you don't have cut lines all the way around it. Okay. It's easier just to move your paper. You don't move your scissors. That's a good tip as well when you're doing mm. cutting. Otherwise, you'll end up with hands doing this and this and this. And here is a bad, uh, like, um, bad idea. I have to close my eyes for the very first cut. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, right. please. <laughs> this is not endorsed by Stamperia. Oh, keep your eyes open when you're cutting. I will keep this and stroke it. And use all See, there's so much detail still on that I can use. I will keep those. <laughs> all, all I say to our angel is never ever use a scalpel blade or a craft knife. Uh, definitely closing your eyes then is definitely dangerous. Well, saying that, I do have to use my scalpel. 
I have my scalpel ready. Okay. I have to quickly cut out. This is one of the chipboard pieces. Ah. I really love these, but I want the, the different sizes of of, of, uh, of Sir Vagabond. So I was looking through mm -hmm. all my collection, and I because of the the theme I was going with, I was looking for all the the same image, but in different sizes and different ways. So I liked this one, but I need to cut him out from his background. So okay. that's not hard to do. You just have to, and again, it's the, the cutting bit is, oh, no, I don't want to cut it. But, you know, you kind of have to. You can't create there, there a, without making a, a few cuts, I'm afraid. There was a great tip down the bottom there from, from one of the viewers, and that's never, ever use your scissors that you use for fabric on paper. I've done it once, and it ruins the scissors. So that's, that's a great tip from somebody there. Yeah, I don't always think like that. I'm, I'm afraid I tend to just <laughs> grab the nearest thing. <laughs> Swap out four different scissors when cutting and never use them. Out. Yeah, that's definitely right. I know. But I don't always do as I'm told, do I, Anthony? Never. I mean, yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm always right. Absolutely. Of course. He know he knows better by now than to argue with me. <laughs> so how how thick is the chipboard you're using, Sam? It's, um, it's like watching paint. So what did everyone have for tea today? <laughs> well, the chipboard is quite thick, so I'm having to. It's not going to go through straight away. I have to do several cuts. So you can't. Don't try and cut through the whole thing in one go. It will not happen. You will either hurt yourself or break a blade. Okay. The, 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 yeah. the plus side to having it thicker is that you can then hang it over the edge of your canvas without it bending too much. Okay. All right, now it'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you can see we have lots of banter between us, Giovanni. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying it. He he knows I love him really. He's fine. <laughs> he teases me. Okay. There we go. You know, if I was more prepared, maybe I would have done this earlier. But you know, I like doing things all live on TV. It's great. That's, that's oh, very true. Somebody says we're we're always given these tips, but sometimes we forget. So it's always nice to keep on. Uh, telling people all the little things. So I've been creating for many years, for more years than Anthony, blimey. So, um, ah. uh, and all of my tools like new. Yeah, uh, that's just me. That's that's absolutely great. You know, if, if you've got the time to to clean your tools in between, then clean them. What's that? Great for you. I don't, don't do cleaning. <laughs> Well, admit, uh, yeah, admittedly, I, I do like to try to keep everything as clean as possible, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You well, can not when you're in the middle of a crafting session. If you don't break the that... eggs. No, no. Yeah, it's so, just... yeah that's, that's the thing, you know, Jean's absolutely right. Everyone does their own thing, and as long as it works, and as long as you have fun with your crafting, then, you know, it's, it's whatever suits you. There, there's, absolutely. There's no, there's no rules. I think Giovanni's gone off for a nap. I, I, oh no, I'm focusing on just, putting the comments on. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool though if, if, if I just put someone on. <laughs> like, bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want a shirt like yours. They just it's just amazing. I <laughs> the one that yeah, the green screen. <laughs> I don't I swear I have no idea why. It's a, we didn't even set up, set up anything like that. That's lovely. Right. There we go. You don't clean either, Ingrid. See, look, I'm not the only one. They're, they're all like me. They don't clean. What's the point? I agree. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Now, I like this. So, they have no idea. Yep. <laughs> now, that one's going to go at the side. I'm just checking out my bits. I, I like, I wanted to put him in this little mm. frame, as you can see. So he go, he's going to go in the little frame, but I found okay. he was a little bit too big there. So I actually trimmed him out, out, out a little bit with my scissors mm -hmm. until I got him to the right uh, level, basically. There we go. No mess, no fun. How true. Oh, I know. We need a little bit of mess. I like mess. My kids make mess and they have loads of fun. 
They don't like it when I have to tell them to tidy up, though. <laughs> That's not fun. They don't like that bit. Anyway, right, we're back to the canvas. Let's see how we're doing. Now, it's still wet, so I'm going to have to dry that a little bit more because that's not going to work. We are one big family. Mm -hmm. I love it. You clean and you lose stuff. Me, Sam is absolutely right. <laughs> Every time I, I put stuff away and clean up, I can never find what I'm looking for again. It drives me crackers. I put it away and it's never there where I want it. I know where everything is in my craft room right now. Don't I, Ant? It's, oh, I've got to say, yes, she does. Even, even though there is stuff everywhere, when I've been round and I say, where's such and such, she can point me straight to it. I can't yeah. find it, but she can. Yeah, I know I know where everything is. You do. But the moment you tell me to tidy up, I can't find anything. It's ridiculous. And every crafter, like, well, anyone who's messy like me is <laughs> like that. You're a functional mess, Monica. See, she, she has functional mess too. You love the frame. I know, I love the frame too, Blanche. It's such a lovely mould and it's so intricate. Mm, it is. That. Look how beautiful that frame is. Right. Gorgeous. That's on um on the Savagabond uh, owl mold. I love that mold. I'm just checking that this is all dry because it won't work with the uh, antiquing paste if it's not dry, I'm afraid. Are we all right for time, Giovanni? We're good. There is not really uh, any family. Not many really to be, have you? <laughs> <laughs> we, we've now extended it. Now, there's now 28 hours in the day, so we're good. 28 hours in I love that. I need more hours in the day. It's just practice. There's never enough. Right, okay. I think that will do. Normally, I would leave it a lot, lot more nice, but you know, don't clean, then love hobby mess. All right, okay, that's cool. Now, we're going to start to stick some pieces down. Now, we've got a... Um, What's the vagabond in the middle? Mm. He's I like him three dimensional. So what I'm going to do is just shape him slightly like this. Okay. So he's going to go in the middle. I can't. I don't like things to be flat. Mm. <laughs> to me, everything should be three dimensional. We're three dimensional, so 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 should my art be. And I've got some just some brown ink. And I, I do like to just ink up the edge a little. So don't like white edges. Okay. White edges, yeah, they don't don't do anything for me. <laughs> uh, some you do understand where I'm coming from there, but you paint the edges with the, the sponge uh, the sponge brush. Well, it's just okay. a sponge brush. It's literally just ink. It's just brown ink. Okay. You, you can use anything, but I use an archival ink pad. There you go. I just like it. It just finishes it off a little. You keep mm -hmm. buying stuff, which adds to the mess. Trish, I understand your pain. It's, just, it's a it's a constant problem. I understand. <laughs> I, I thought you typed that then, Sam, but I saw someone. No, I didn't type that. You cheeky what's it? <laughs> See, he's really mean to me, Giovanni. <laughs> now, I want to do this more three dimensional, so I'm actually going to use. Uh, if you notice on the back of canvases, you get these little packs of. Um, wooden bits. <laughs> okay. They're for stretching the canvas, but I don't ever use them for that. So I'm just going to use them with my mixed media glue and stick them down and use them for three dimensional stuff. And I tried the gold paste. It is gorgeous, Jean. I've only just got the gold paste actually, so I'm, I'm not using it on this because it's I'm using the antiquing paste on this one. But it's it's absolutely fine. So are we all right? Am I okay doing this upside down? Yeah, we're good. Fine. Let me mm -hmm. just. This is open. I just it keeps sticking itself back oh, down again. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. But these are great. It's like self sealing. This is. <laughs> I would like to advertise them as such, but I don't think so. You like what? Sorry. No, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just grab my brush. I've ordered some magic brushes. Apparently, everyone calls them magic brushes. I love them. Here we go. Just uh, just going to stick some of these down. These, this is with the uh, mixed media glue. Okay. Yeah, I just wonder what is because I guess it's talking about the the piece of the in the back of the canvas. Mm -hmm. What are those for? Who? They're, I, for they're for stretching the canvas. Nobody yeah. uses oh. the bits on the back of the canvas. No, they're right. You see these holes? Um, yeah. I can show you. Look uh, down here. See, normally you could use these. Put in here like this, 
Okay. To stretch the canvas out like this. Oh, okay. okay. So that's actually what they're yeah. for. But no one ever uses them. So. No, <laughs> I oh, never knew that, and I produce them by big numbers. So I, I, I never knew why we do that. Interesting. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I just thought I'd uh, show you that. There you go. Everyone knows now. Right, I'm going to put this down. I might end up using some hot glue as well. Where's my. Throwing them everywhere. Look at me. Sometimes I see something that's nice, you buy it and come home and see that you already have it. Yeah, I've done that a few times, Esther. Don't worry, you're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Double up on your on your project on your stuff because you're like, oh, it's gorgeous. I love that. And then you realise, yeah, you already thought that a while back and bought it before. And I do that sometimes. Anyway, I digress, as I do quite often when I'm crafting. So that will give it more dimension. Okay. Mm -hmm. That'll be great. I'll put that on there just to, to clean my fingers off because this stuff is very sticky. Very sticky. And I'm working. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to just paste a bit of the glue on the back of him. And a little bit down there. A bit there. Okay. 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 Uh, what is the paste you're using again? What is it now? What, my lovely? Is that a glue or a paste? It's, it's still it's still the uh, mixed media glue. Mixed media glue, okay. Mixed media glue, yeah. I'm just gonna stick him round about here. We think. I'm gonna move those over. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I'm doing this upside down. Remind, I'll remind you. <laughs> have you have you noticed that inside the glasses of Sir Vagabond, yeah. you can I see the that. city? Yeah, you can yeah. see the scenes of the, what he's looking at. Isn't that amazing? That's, yeah. that's what really does it for me, this particular collection, is the attention to detail in the artwork is amazing. And you, you keep on looking at it and you find more things all the time. Yeah, absolutely. It's just gorgeous. All those little things. Right, I'm going to start sticking these down now quickly. Let's, oh, let's get some more of my mixed media glue. And I'll use it, actually, I'm going to use the extra strong glue for this part. And I love this. You've done that with two stampy resistances. It's just amazing. Oh, this glue is super strong and fantastic. I love it. Don't need too much, but I'm I'm very heavy handed with my glue. Uh, Maria is saying that she really likes uh, the techniques. Uh, and she's saying good evening from uh, Greece. Oh, what's she saying? Oh, she's saying good evening. From, uh, good afternoon from uh, Greece. Oh, hello from Greece. Hello. Wait, Calisper, oh, Calisper, yes. Calisper is good evening. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's okay. lovely. I love that there's so many people. That's what I love about Stamperia Worldwide. Everyone from all over the world is on here. Yeah. And it just makes it such a wonderful community. And, and once again, they're so nice. It's I know. We have such a big community worldwide, yeah. and everybody is so polite to each other. I've never seen a fight down here. And well, every other YouTube or Facebook video I check always has like fights and people hating on each other. And here it's always so respectful and so so caring. Yeah. And Sorry. they're all beautiful, amazing, absolutely amazing. I love it. Oh, I've just broke that. That's okay. Let's we'll stick that back together. It's gonna have bits on him anyway. He's fine. <laughs> he's just behaved, but other than that, he's good. That's gonna be hidden anyway. I'm just gonna glue him back together. Hmm. I do this quite a lot. There we go. Let's put that there. So I'm doing this upside down, so this is quite interesting for me. There we go. A bit more glue on this bit. So Germany, perfect. Jacqueline, uh, we're going to have an episode all in German on Saturday. Check it out. Oh. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we've got uh, someone from Germany just talking. That's great. Because I'm just asking for someone from Germany, aren't we? There we go. Put that one down there. I like that. We're, we're slowly building the scene. So that's what we're doing at the moment, just building our scene up. And then I'll then we start doing the uh, finishing project. They do provide such amazing artists. They do. Uh, I love Stamperia. are amazing. <laughs> I'm just getting my hot glue gun working. Although it's been a bit temperamental right now. Now, why did I that one's up to that's why well, that's not it needs to be a bit higher up. Let's move you up, Mr. Vagabond. 
Does anyone else talk to their projects, or am I the only one? <laughs> well, Anthony, do you talk to the to your project? I I. I... <laughs> <laughs> I, sp I suppose that w when they go wrong, I certainly do. When they go right, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> when they go wrong, yeah, yeah, you might want to swear at them a few times, or maybe. But you know what? I, yeah, I lots of nice people. Yeah, I agree, Sonia. It's perfect, isn't it? Right, I'm just sticking my bits down. We find someone to them too. Okay. There's really no going wrong with the the, the vagabond collection um, because. You know, I've, I've been looking online and there's so many people using exactly the same pieces. But every single uh, piece that they have made looks absolutely different. And yeah, that's what to me is, is just is just great because um, it's, it's a value for money thing as well. You know, and uh, stamp period definitely provides that. We we are trying to figure out a way to express the fact that uh, it's 10 it's uh, 10 pages, uh, double face. But also, you get two more faces because it's behind the cover and the back. Yeah, you do. I, and we I don't do. write it on top because we couldn't find an elegant way of putting it on the page. <laughs> because we could write 10 plus yeah. one half, half, something like that. But it wouldn't look nice on the cover. So that's, that, that's, that's even more of a bonus if you're using the packaging within your, within your craft. Yeah. You just put ten plus bonus pages, uh, bonus items. Oh no, I won't call it. No. Talk to the walls. Living alone. <laughs> oh bless. I know, Jean. It's hard. Oh, All right. Okay. right. We're sticking those ones down. And then I want to stick the vagabonds time flying time piece on top there. That'll be great. See this glue. I I, don't, I get a bit carried away. I, I use loads. <laughs> I'm running out. I need some more. Yeah. But I'm waiting. My hot glue gun. Is that working still? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. My hot glue gun. I run out of the big ones. So I'm having to go back to my little hot glue gun. So it's causing me problems right now. I need to get some more hot glue sticks. My um, That's the problem with all the stores being shut. It's very frustrating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, like a Sir Vagabond crack. We don't mind, but I, I like to cover up my m mistakes. We don't have mistakes, they're just happy accidents. <laughs> Calculated, yeah. Happy okay. accidents, we can do mistakes. There we go. I'm just going to stick Sir Vagabond himself into the frame. Mm -hmm. That we made for him. Nice. He's cute there. I like him. Nice. Uh, we do have this one to go up here. Now, where did I get that one from? I think he was from the paper pad. I'm not sure which one. Which, which page? See, this is this is what you mean by the um. That's the back cover, and on mm -hmm. in, inside of the back cover, look at that. All these images you've got to use, and in fact, I think that's the one I need. Yeah, that's the one I need. Perfect. I'm so glad I found the one I need. Just going to quickly cut him out. Um, the one you're using is—is is it the big pad or the small pad? No, it's the eight by eight pad. So it's the small eight. pad. Uh, you can use the big pad if you've got bigger canvas, and you can—you know—that's perfect if you want to do bigger projects. But um, right now, no, I'm using the 8x8 pad, and that's what fits with this project. Uh, I'm not very good at cutting that. If I chop a bit off him, don't worry. it won't. He won't feel a thing. <laughs> I always wanted to be a surgeon, you know. I'm not sure I'd be a very good surgeon, but I, I, I've always had to do I've just seen you behead the Mr. Vagabond. I'm not sure. I would. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe not. Maybe maybe that I, wasn't I, my calling. Yeah. Don't want to be your patient. Let's just say that. What? And you have to be clean there. <laughs> it's not funny. It's messy. Oh, I'm doomed. Yeah, that's def definitely not my uh, my calling then. So Vagabond. Yeah, I poor Sir Vagabond. He's he's doomed. What have I done? Oh, that's it. Just need to um, 
quickly ink it up. You're new to mixed media, but you love it. I, I'm so glad you're loving all these. I like to introduce people to mixed media because it frees people up, actually. They, they get less nervous about projects if they feel that they don't have to make it look perfect. Because mm -hmm. that, that sometimes holds people up when it comes to art. They feel like they've got to, um, you know, be be too good at it and <laughs> and that's the whole point of mixed media is oh, do you know what i've stuck this down too much right do you know what? i'm gonna have to cut a bit off i'm gonna have to decapitate him now this is just not good poor poor <laughs> poor sir vagabond is really going to be decapitated don't, tell him don't think you'll have that thank you what don't what don't you want jean i don't know what she <laughs> what have i put you off now Right, I'm going to hide this Sir Vagabond. He's going to be coming out of, from behind the paper. I quite like him peeking out from behind there. So we're sticking him down there. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Just come out. And do you remember the, the, the acetate one we, we stamped earlier? I do yeah. have to just quickly, I'm going to smooth that out of the way, and I'm going to cut him out after, after I clean my fingers two seconds because <laughs> they're all sticky. <laughs> And this could be very, very terrible for him. Mr. Vagabond might not look the way he normally looks if I keep going this way. This is what I love about this particular collection and some of the others that Stamp Period do. It's not just paper pads or stencils. It's also having the ability to have the three dimensions in the moulds. So it's all of those different elements brought together. So whether you love your scrapbooking or your mixed media or just yeah. doing services or even just cards, the Stamperia range is just great for all of those and everything in between as well. Oh, I know. I love it all. It's amazing. It, yeah, yeah, it is having a combination of the, the me and the, the, the uh, products with the artwork. And then as well as that, the, um, yeah, the, the three-dimensional stuff as well. Everything works together so perfectly. And even across, across the different uh collections they all work because there's different collections that antonis has done as well that work really well with this one especially the sea world one the sea world yeah i've just started i've just got a few pieces of those at the moment i'm gonna work with those um and I, i'm hoping uh, i'm doing some things for belinda soon um hope she doesn't mind me mentioning do some guest things for her I'm very excited um, about. Uh, now we're working on the next collections, and they're already coming out great. Both oh. uh, Belinda and uh, Antonisa have beautiful concepts. You uh, you'll see great things. Oh, I can't, honestly, I don't think my bank account could, could manage it anymore, Giovanni. But I, I love it. I want them all. <laughs> don't worry, it's time. It's gonna be in a while. <laughs> uh, I yeah, I I need them all though. Full set syndrome again, but I yeah, just, yeah, I just want to work with it all. Just put it, it all in the shipping container. Shipping container. All, all yeah. Shipping <laughs> container for you. Yeah, I'm working on a big project actually, Giovanni. But um, and the <clears throat> airship and lots of these pieces I've done already actually are part of it. Mm -hmm. But I can't show you the full thing. It's uh, a work in progress. We'll wait. It will be fun, but uh, there we go. So this is very thick acetate. This comes in the um, clear prints set from the uh, from uh, Vagabond collection, actually. There's some lovely um, prints in there, but you also get a clear one. So what, what was that, Belinda? She's so excited for oh, the new collection. Yeah. I can't wait to see those, Belinda, honestly. I, I just die to see those. Right, there we go. The next collection. I want to see the next collection, Belinda. I need to have sneaky peeks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be messaging you later on sneaky peeks. <laughs> Not my contract. Not my contract. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I, I want sneaky peeks. I might have to message her later. Say, Belinda, I need sneaky peeks. <laughs> right, let me just stick that one back now because that was moving. It's my hot glue gun. It's not working. It's not happening. It's not happy. It's not a happy glue gun today. I need a new one. Come on, glue gun. You need to work. Oh, how do we go? 
because sometimes these uh, bigger pieces need a little bit more um, wrap. There we go. Mm. Right, that's done. So there we have Sir Vagabond. Now he's a bit bigger than the actual die cut that you get in the in the project in, in the die cuts collection. That's okay. We can work with that. I don't mind him being a bit bigger. So, all right, here we go. Um, so I'm lifting this up a bit. What are you laughing it's at? There's no no sneak peeks for anyone. <laughs> oh, Belinda, that's just not fair. <laughs> I promise I'll be quiet. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Honest. Sweet. I promise. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I'm, I'm not that good at keeping secrets. <laughs> um, right. I'm just, I accidentally stuck this down early because I'm doing it upside down and I forgot that I need to keep this bit open a bit. Okay. So, you know, I'm not going to stick this in yet, but I need to just keep it open. There we go. I want to stick Sir Vagabond just underneath this piece. There we go. Don't try not to do what I do and mess it up. That's great. Does it have to go all the way? No, no, but I'm gonna. There we go. That's it. Just a little bit. Right. Now, before I stick him in there, I want to start with the uh, event vintage process because we don't need that on the acetate so we're just going to start with that now that's gonna be fun this is my fun bit i love this bit so anyone who's messy bit the messy bit absolutely <laughs> the messy bit's always the fun bit actually i've just got to stick this piece on oh i love this piece it says absolutely unique and i put a question mark on the end because <laughs> i like that iron irony irony just gonna put that on there as well Shouldn't that talk with your mouth for Samantha? It's terrible. There we go. Oh, that's cool. It's it, it's just a the title for that one. There we go. Absolutely unique. And then I put a little question mark on the end in a minute. If I can find what I did with it. It's in here somewhere. Just a little piece I have laying around. Hmm. Jenny, Jenny's agreeing with you, Sam. The messy bit's always the best. It is the best. Oh, Jenny's always on it, lover. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny's my old pal. Right, here we go. Now, to do this with the um, antique paste, I tend to use a little uh, meti, meti, no, here we go, pet pie pot. So, like a metal pie tin. Put that in. And I need to just find my little pot. I keep, you have to work this paste because it's um, an oil based paste. You need mm -hmm. to work it with turpentine or um, a substitute of, of that, which I use uh, an art product for that. Okay, so I'm just going to keep my acetate to the side for that. I don't need that in the way. Let's make sure you can all see the mess that I'm making. That's very important. <laughs> he looks, he looks diva. Ooh, he does. <laughs> it does a bit diva, <laughs> anyway, right? Can you all see there? That we're looking good. He looks good, right? Very good. So very this good. stuff, and Anthony keeps calling it brown toothpaste. Mm. <laughs> right, just ignore it. Careful there. Again, also, I cannot endorse using this. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. there we go. I'm going to put a, a, a blob in there. Okay. <laughs> but to get it moving, I'm um, uh, moving around. I need this this product. Glad to be able to watch. Oh, thank you, Linda. It's lovely to have you here with us. Thank you so much. It's so nice that everyone can just join us. I, I love crafting with people. It's, it's great to be able to share that. Thank you so much. I love watching. Oh, there we go. Unstable connection, apparently. Right. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to grab a bit of this turpentine stuff, put it in there, and mix it up. Not a lot. I just want to get it moving because it's, it's very thick. It's a very thick paste. Mm. And Antonis made this. It's one of the best products I've actually come across <laughs> in recent years. Um, Farrell did some great 
projects on with using this stuff as well. She's a master at it. She's on his design team. Oh yeah, see, Jean says it's fab paste and it looks so messy and it does smell a bit, obviously using the turpentine, but ventilate your area well and uh, obviously. Belinda, Belinda actually said, Sam, that there is an artist's version of turpentine and it's probably um, sort of less, less fumes. Well, it's, the, it's this, this is an artist's version. That is an artist's one, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, distilled, yeah, distilled turpentine. So that's what I use. Uh, okay, so that now this is the fun bit, right? What is the brown toothpaste, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> the brown toothpaste is I like Karen. vintage antique in paste. This is uh, created by uh, Antonis himself. Um, it only comes in one colour, you don't need any other colour. This, yeah. it, what we do is basically, this is going to stain everything and get into all the nooks and the crannies, or the crooks and nannies, I say. And then what we will yeah. do is we will wipe off what we don't need and it will give us a nice antiquing look. So that's what we're going to do now. And you're going to scream at me and think, oh, my God, she's ruined the whole piece in a moment. Because all I'm going to do is literally paint over everything. <laughs> and it looks like, oh, my God. It's crazy. What is she doing? That was art, artist turpentine. Someone just asked what you use to actually mix. With yes, that is the, it, the brown toothpaste. You can use turpentine, <laughs> or this is a distilled turpentine. Sorry, I, I'm not product sharing, but that's what I'm using. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly go over all of this, and it's fun. It's quick. It's not. It's not something you have to. I'm trying not to go over Sir Vagabond himself, actually, because I want to keep him those colours. So you can be picky about where you go. You use your finger, but don't put anything else in it. Oh, OK. So I want to go under there. You do have to work fairly quick, because otherwise it will set. You don't want to um, it to set completely. And I'm going to be really um, naughty in a minute and use baby wipes because for me, it's the best way of getting it back off. So, so how, what, what's the sort of working time of that then, Sam? Um, uh, I don't I've not pushed it to its limit. So I've got to say, I don't know. How, it, you, it is best to do it quickly because you don't want it to, to set on there and you want it to be able to get it off, but you need it to be <laughs> to stain it as well. So uh, it's a kind of a play with it and see. I should say. I channel drive safely, please. <laughs> don't. Drive safely. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. Not it's going to be on the internet forever. You don't need. To. I've got to say, she's not the only. I've done it before too. Um, that's <laughs> not good. <laughs> when you can't miss. You did it like a podcast. It's a very visual uh, program. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can catch up with us. We'll be we'll be here later. You can always catch up and see. It. <laughs> I'd rather you didn't have an accident. Again, <laughs> the same way as the toothpaste and the chocolate. I don't endorse watching this. <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah, this is not chocolate. It is not toothpaste, but it is lovely stuff. Oh. Yeah, someone asked me if they could do this with Nutella. I said, uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I love Nutella. I'd probably just eat it instead. I'm not sure it would work the same, but well, there you go. Someone else has also agreed you that's one of the best products that uh, Stampy have got, the, the paste you're using now. It is, and it's actually quite hard to get hold of at the moment because uh, we're having trouble in this country hmm. getting hold of products because of Brexit and everything. And ugh, it's a bit of a nightmare, to be fair. But um, And everyone wants this this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, But uh, you can get it if you're, if you're savvy and you look around and you... And there we go. From your local I'm, dealer. I've been quite rough. I, I Again, and, and and when when he says uh, it, one of the best question mark, it is the best. There we go. So that's an endorsement. That's an endorsement. Oh, it is the best. Thank you, Wendy. There you go. See, <laughs> a good recommendation there. I, I, I'm waiting for the next products they keep coming out with. I'm like, oh, I just like trying new products. <laughs> I do try everything new, don't I, Aunt? Just about. Just I, about. I, I, I've been I've been asked to extend uh, her crafting area into her garage. Oh but yeah, he's, he's, he's doing my garage. Lockdown, I can't get down there. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, don't you see yeah. them again? Let me go. Let me, my crafty studio, and this is this is indoors, but oh, I need a bigger space. We need bigger space, Giovanni. It's not big enough. Oh. There we go. Bit of here. This is the fun bit. I mean, it looks like I've just painted it all brown, which I really have clearly. Obviously, I'm just gonna go around the edges too. You don't want to miss anything out. Jean, to answer you, today I'm working from the office. I'm the only one here, but I'm from the office. Let me just show you for a second uh, the situation here. So this is usually my office. And as you can see, it's deserted. So they all run away. <laughs> they left you to it, Giovanni, all on your own. <laughs> so they were, all, they were all at the pub last night. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's why they've done the trick on your shirt they they so you can't ask anyone how to get rid of it exactly <laughs> i'm so surprised i i don't see, <laughs> you can see it's ciclamino it's it's one of the allegros okay um <laughs> it could have been worse it could have been worse and if one day somebody wants to come over and visit us uh, as as soon as it would be possible to travel again Everybody's welcome to come visit. Absolutely. So I'll be there. <laughs> Can I come? <laughs> she doesn't need a second invite. Yeah, that's it. That's me invite done. I'm good. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna put my brush in there a minute. Now's the uh, the fun bit. I gotta get. Oh, that's that's no, true. I'd like to do this with... Sorry. Uh, Belinda said, no crafting space is big enough. <laughs> Actually, she's dead right. I'm going to say, I, it doesn't matter what space I've got, I always tend to uh, outgrow it within about a, a month anyway. So what we're going to do, you're going to be picky about this. You start to take away the, brow, uh, the, the paste where you don't want it. So you'll leave it. it, it was, it's fallen into the, the, the cracks and the crevices, and that's where we want it. But we're wiping it off, and it seems like we're wasting product. I know it sounds awful. <laughs> I look at it and think, oh, that product I'm wiping off again. But actually, that's what you want to do. And this gives the, to the effect of the uh, the antiquing, and I love it. So, so in, a, in a roundabout way, Sam, we saw, you saw, you're sort of saying that it works in the opposite way of gilding wax. That's going into the crevices where gilding wax is on the top. That's right. Yep, absolutely. Yep. I'm just uh, sorry. I have to support this underneath because it's a uh, clay. It's softer than resin or anything, so I just don't want to break it. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Beautiful. So I'll leave that one. And I'm using baby wipes, so we're going to start taking it off. As you can see, the cream paste has resisted <clears throat> beautifully all the, the paste. Because the cream paste got, has kind of oh Denise Williams got a coach from the UK. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I think that's a good idea. Right, or is it we, okay here? Well, yeah. the, the only thing is, um, the person who's driving is not allowed to watch Stamperia live whilst they're driving. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm not going to drive then. <laughs> not volunteering for the driving part. This no. Time. Right. So yeah, the, the, the what I was saying is the cream paste is great. It's got like a plasticky coat uh, texture once it's dry. So once you any products that go on top of that will repel any water based products, I should say. You're on the coach, <laughs> Anne Marie's coming. Well, everybody's on the coach. <laughs> we, we should start selling tickets. We're, we're yeah, doing we've got a whole coach coming one up, from but a video the one. UK. <laughs> Our angel, see, they're coming. Uh, I love it. Here we go. You can start to see the reveal. I love this part. This is the this is where it comes to life. Mm -hmm. And you start to see all oh, magic happen. <laughs> like this, a house, a toilet, a kitchenette, and the rest is craft room. <laughs> you can see that house needs a toilet, kitchenette, and and the rest is craft. I'm with Irma. I like that idea. We don't need anything else: kitchen, toilet, and craft room. In fact, I don't spend much time in my lounge anymore. I tend to live in here. Oh, here we go. I've squashed uh, some of the words. Patricia says she's loving your project, Sam. Who is? Patricia. Patricia. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who's who's watching. I love it. Make sure you share. 
and like uh, the page, then you get to go in and win a pizza box. Who's yeah, pizza I remember that. Funny? Wait, I have the banners. I have the banners. Where is it? Here. Yay! <laughs> share the video. <laughs> there you go. Who's who's going to win the pizza box? <laughs> we're going to tell as soon as you're done, we're going to show the, the winner. Okay. I like that. Uh, my grandmother suggested, uh, my grandmother and my uncle, they suggested to add uh, like the fake laughter uh, and uh, you know, all the special effects. We will you figure out laughter? how to work. This is all real. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> you've, now got a, you've now got a sound clip though from Sam saying share, share. So you, you can, you can <laughs> use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's funny. It's, 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 this point though, it's really coming to life. People are loving it. Good. Love I love, it. We need lots of hearts. Can we have lots of hearts? Not for me, for the products. For the products. Yeah. Hearts coming, hearts coming. Hearts, hearts coming. already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at this amazing stuff. I love it. That's oh. good. Looking and good. Oh, We're getting okay. there. We're getting there. Sorry, it's taking so long, guys. I hope you're okay. We're not with the time. You know. It's a bit of a longer project than an hour, I think, but we do have to fit everything in. Oh, look at this. The framework looks amazing because mm. you get all the detail. So lovely. It's so about the live, though, you're, you're seeing it from start to finish. You know, a lot of people oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, are put off by a blank canvas, and it's great to see it from start to finish so people can craft along and obviously watch back the videos as well. I do like to do it from start to finish for that reason because yeah it's it's all very well seen prepared pieces and think yeah. well yeah that's it. easy for them to say they prepared this and prepared that but actually I like to do it from beginning to end so you can work along and say well you know if she could do it and I often get, it often goes wrong Giovanni it often goes wrong <laughs> gotta say when I do lives it doesn't always go to plan but it's okay you just work with it and oh wait 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 can you see what Oh, it's sunny. Can you see the, the squirrel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, is that our water squirrel? Oh, okay. he's run off now. Oh. He wants he to always join me. He'll stop by to say hello. Okay. <laughs> I love having little friends pop by. It's like, I feel like Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> the little the little birds and the squirrels and so keep you keep going and you're gonna keep taking off what you don't need. That's it. Am I in shot still? Yeah. I have to remember this because I, I forget sometimes where the camera is and I'll just keep playing. So you have to mm -hmm. rem remind me. I hope it's okay. I'm doing it upside down so everyone can still see up the right way. Because <laughs> my I'm working from an iPad today, so Forgive me, but my phone, my iPad's too heavy to go overhead at the moment. I'm going to get an iPhone, my iPhone sorted so that I can do that. Yeah, that's my fault. Like three minutes before the beginning of the live, I was like, Samantha, can you do it uh, upside down? Just yeah, I don't mind. No, no. <laughs> we just want to bend. <laughs> I, I can work upside down. I can swing from the chandelier at the same time if you like, Giovanni. You know, we're all talented crafters here. <laughs> Well, not me, but <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing, nothing more I can do. Yeah, but oh, whatever. <laughs> Here we go. We're just cleaning off Sir Vagabond's face. He looks mm -hmm. a, bit, a bit grubby. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. He, he, he needs his glasses clean. I'm just going to clean his glasses. Hang on. <laughs> he can't see much now. There we go. A woman of many talents is Sam. Oh, thank you, Art Angel. That's lovely of you. Oh, they're all so kind. I, everyone on here is amazing. I do, I do love watching these lives, even when I can't understand a word anyone's saying. If it's in a different <laughs> language, I was watching Monica doing the uh, the French one. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing, and it brought back all my French lessons. He loves. <laughs> Linda has to work upside down too to do her lessons. <laughs> It's um, a gift, isn't it, Belinda? It's it's a gift to be able to work upside down. <laughs> you have to learn to stand on your head at the same time. It's like patting your belly and patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. 
it's okay we like doing these things i just love teaching actually <clears throat> it's it's so fun to share projects um ideas and i'd learn i learn from so many other crafters as well all the time i'm always picking up ideas from other crafters and that's what we do we love to share and i, I always make sure i tell people where i get my ideas from you know if i've if someone's uh, inspired me, mm -hmm. I love to tell people to say, look, well, you know, we don't all <laughs> come up with these things ourselves. They, uh, they're all from other people. We all pick up things and it's, it's only fair that we give the credit back to the people that inspire us. Of course. So I love that. That's what the community is all about. Question from John yeah uh is there any other color for the antique paste Afraid not, not. So no nope. yeah. um uh, yeah, it took us a while to choose one. the one that anthony really wanted and we settled for this one maybe maybe if it keeps going this way maybe we will come up with more we'll see we'll find out oh really oh, that'll be interesting i mean i love it the way it is i'm not i i don't think i could do with another color anyway. <laughs> well i could i could always do with another color what am i saying but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rainbow. You want the whole rainbow of colours? Actually, yeah. Anyone else who knows me knows I love rainbows. Uh, I love rainbow colours. I can't. I don't have a favourite colour, so I have to have them all. There we go. Oh, oh I've just knocked off a piece. Oh, do you know if that happens? Just stick it back on with a bit of glue. Oh, you can hear my doggies. <laughs> okay. today. Please forgive me. The patina gel. What what's that Shamila said? I missed that. Wait, uh the patina gels come in other colours. The patina gels they do. Oh they do, yes. I like those. Hang on a moment. Just find me with me. Just a case of the more you use a baby wipe on the, the antique paste, the more colour you're taking off. Yeah, I am taking off more colour, but I, I'm the thing is, you're, you're uh, controlled now. This is me taking it off where I want it off. So you, that's the idea of this. It's it's you being in control of the uh, the colour. We put it all into all the crevices, and that's where I want it. I want it so that it looks no. like it's all old. And you can see the amazing detail of that stencil now. It's really just like, wow. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. 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 just makes it pop. And I love that. I love that. That's really fun. There we go. So I think I'm happy the way that's Beautiful. gone so far. I think that's fine. Just Absolutely gorgeous. Wipe along the edges. We don't want too dark <laughs> along there. There we go. Put a bit down here. Make sure we mm -hmm. finish the project. I don't like half finished projects. So, oh, my doggies are a bit loud. Excuse me. We'll uh, someone was saying that uh, their dog was looking up when he heard the other dogs. Oh, oh Sandy. <laughs> Sandy's one of our puppies. Gertie is, is, is puppy sitting. One really? of our, my dog's puppies. We had puppies. And oh. her daughter in law bought, uh, bought one of our puppies. And she's, she's dog sitting him. So Sandy's is Poppy's puppy. <laughs> my puppy. Oh, so that's so the, cute. There we go. The squirrel does not appreciate uh, the the barking. Okay. So they can he can hear his mummy uh, barking. Oh, that's so sorry, funny. There we go. No. Yeah, there we go. Look, look, look at who heard that. Oh, we have another dog. Oh, you have a doggy. Oh my gosh. Oh, you smell really bad. Uh, this is Massimo. Please. Massimo. Hey, Massimo. Is he your doggy? Uh, yeah, yes. Wait. Parado. Parado. Here you go. Massimo. Uh, he's very excited. <laughs> oh, I love doggies. Oh, I'm, I'm a big dog person. Uh, luckily, you three. cannot. We, you we cannot smell them. Uh, okay. Three Maltese doggies. <laughs> I know Poppy. She's she's barking at me now. I know. <laughs> she's telling me. Oh, Poppy, be quiet. You're making everyone bark. <laughs> So now we've got Sir Vagabond there. I'm going to just stick him down. Now I'm going to have to use a clear, um, uh, what do you call it, glue. Let me just find what I want. 
what did I use before? I can't remember. I can't remember what I used. I'll, I'll just use some of this. I didn't use much. I only put it in certain places where it wouldn't be seen. There we go. Too much. Uh, a little bit there. Because it's acetate, you don't want um, it to be visible. Okay. I'm going to slot it in. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, that's better. Actually, don't worry on that side. I'm going to wipe that off. Your project looks amazeballs, says Melinda. Amazeballs! Thanks, Belinda, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's amazing. I love Belinda. She she does inspire me lots. And that was her idea to do the uh, acetate because I was panicking because I didn't have any more of the um, die cuts, mm. the clear die cuts, when I was going to do the project. And I thought I'm not, never going to be able to get any in the post quick enough. So she said, well, have you got the stamps? And I was like, oh, yeah, of course I've got the stamp. Um, so just stamp them onto the acetate. Duh, of course, I could do that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. So that, that's, like that's her idea. I was like, well, see, she gave me that idea. That's great. Now we've got another Sir Vagabond down here. I'm going to add him under here. He's peeping out from under there. Okay. Like And I'm all, yeah, I, I can't wait to show you all the big piece that I'm doing, but I can't show you yet. So you have to wait and see for that. Here we go. We need extra wide screen for your next piece. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's going to be a big problem. But we need, we need a yeah. cinema screen to see it. <laughs> cinema screen. Now I'm going to lift the, the, the thing up and you get to see, oh, hello. Oh, I, I, I didn't have my pom-poms <laughs> on. I'm sorry. <laughs> You haven't got pop pops on, so you need pop pops no. in your hair. So okay, I think. Amazing. So going to try the acetate. It's great. Thank you, Karen. So there's how our finished piece. Okay, beautiful. Okay, everyone loves it. Mm. Try it yourselves. Try the vintage antique paste. It's amazing. So it's really awesome. So there's there's one. Obviously, I had. What else I've done on here, on this one, that I haven't done on this one yet, is put some um, of the Karantika uh, wax, if you can see, on the... Yeah. I've just highlighted on this one some wax. Beautiful. Yes. I love the details. Yeah. I, I won't do it on this one yet because it's still very wet, so I'm going to leave that one. But that's mm -hmm. all I've done is the same on this one. I would put some of the Karantika wax on the um, highlighted edge, on the uh, raised edges of each of the pieces. So the wax is, you know, it's, it's gorgeous stuff. Amazing. Right. Amazing. Amazing. Well done. Well done. That's beautiful. So I hope that project was okay for you, Giovanni. It was amazing. It was perfect. We, I really liked it, and everybody in the comments is loving it. Guys, cool. say it in the comments. How much did you like it? How much Congratulations. Like it? Show me heart. Show me heart. Show me heart. <laughs> I apologize in the end. Uh, I, I stopped commenting as much, but I had to mute because you can you can hear Massimo chewing around. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is that my doggy set them off? Set him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Jermaine. That's thank you. Oh, and uh, let's announce the winner of the week. Oh, also, Anthony, thank you so much for being with us. It was not even uh, expected. Absolute, right? absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Auntie Pants. So, the winner is. It's always names I cannot pronounce. So, let's. Okay. Okay. No, it should be easy. Rosa Mary Campuzzano. Campuzzano. Oh. Congratulations, Rosa. Well done. Well done, Rosa. Lovely. <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah. thank you so much for being with us. See, see you all soon. And I hope yes. to have more episodes with you. Okay. Uh, have what, sorry? I hope to have more episodes with you. It's, yes, it's so please. lovely to have you here. So, absolutely. I love Where you. do I Amazing. put the video? Just a second, just a second. Okay, here. Bye bye. Ciao ciao. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Do you know our Facebook group, Sampers Worldwide? The place where you can post your creations. Ask.
ask for advices and make new friends and above all an incredible source of inspiration subscribe now and join Sumpers Worldwide Group it's for free we're waiting for you